Hi, I'm Tanner Knox, and on this episode of Broadcast Foods, I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect double cheeseburger. But first, let's see what ingredients we need. Our first ingredient, we have two 100% Angus beef patties that have already been preformed to save time. Then for the cheese, we have two American uh, Kraft singles. And for the buns, we just have the regular white buns. You can, you can do a weed if you prefer. And then for our toppings, we have lettuce, tomatoes, and we have two condiments, which is just mustard and ketchup. And then of course, lastly, the bacon to really top it off. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our stove to medium. If you have numbers on your dial, it'll be roughly around five. And then once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to put the patty on the frying pan. It should only take roughly eight to 10 minutes to cook each patty. Later in the series, we'll show you how to um, check and make sure each patty is fully cooked. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you flip your patties every two to three minutes to ensure that both sides are cooked evenly. If you like your buns uh, toasted like I do, feel free to walk over and put them in the toaster with the setting at three and a half to ensure a nice golden brown look and texture. Don't forget to keep flipping your patties. Now it's time to add your bacon to your frying pan. It's just as important to flip your bacon to make sure that each side is cooked equally. To ensure your patty is cooked thoroughly, cut a small incision in the middle of the burger to make sure that there's not a hot pink center. Nobody wants that. Once you feel like your patties are done, take your patties off and let's go back to our workstation. Now let's get this burger assembled. Grab the bottom of the patty, put this, the meat on there, and we'll get our cheese. This will be our first layer, layer of our double cheeseburger. And we'll get our other patty, put that down. And once again, we'll cover it with cheese. Once we're done that, let's work with the toppings. Topping. So we'll lay our tomatoes across. I'll do two, stick with two pieces today. Next, we'll get our lettuce. Sprinkle that on there a little bit. My, lastly, my most favorite part of this, we'll get our bacon. Lay a couple pieces of bacon across there. And now for my favorite part, 